on the table today we have a Godzilla toy for the new 2014 movie. This is Tail Strike Godzilla, so watch out. Going backwards, here is Tail Strike in the package as he appears on store shelves. Very similar to the Dragon's Toys with an open box design and a die cut Godzilla up top. Gives you a chance to test out the action feature a little bit, make sure it works, make sure things are how you want them. Kind of funny because he's so secured so lightly, I imagine you could pop him out pretty easily compared to other toys who are clamshelled so tight that you can't even get inside. On the back here we have uh, a nice little uh, how-to work uh, Godzilla with a quick little demonstration and a bunch of other translations. Out of the box, Godzilla destroys. He's a pretty good sized uh, toy, very similar to the dragons that I've been reviewing a lot of late, and that's kind of why I picked him up. He is pretty solid with the plastic, a little heavier than the dragons, uh, but a neat toy nonetheless. His action feature involves a, of course, tail strike. He's got this kind of hokey uh, big belly going on here, and you press down on the belly, and that lifts the tail up and down. And then, from side to side, you can kind of rotate it a little bit as well and for a nice tail whipping action. So there's a lot of range to the action feature, but it sure takes over the uh, whole toy. Uh, everything else is kind of built for that action feature. One of the most lamest things about this toy is the feet. Uh, they gave him these little tiny stumps, which is really annoying. I will constantly, constantly yell at toy makers for making tiny feet. I do not get it. Please make the feet larger so that they stand up. You really have to get this guy just in the right spot so that he stands. Anyhow, his arms are articulated, which is kind of neat, and uh, looks like his head is not. It's just kind of got a seam there, but it's not going to rotate on you. Uh, I don't really want to force it. Same with the legs, uh, the way they put them in there. Uh, so that's kind of, you think you get some extra rotation, but you don't. He's coming in from the right! Oh no! He came from the left! Looking a bit closer, there's not much going on for paint and uh, effects. He's pretty much one solid dark gray color with a little bit of white highlights on his back spikes and arms and head. Of course he's got the white teeth going on. And then he's got a little bit of a green gray belly going on. So very bland on that scale, but I don't think you're going to see much in the movie either. So that's probably why they went with that. While we're looking up close, we can kind of take a look at the new Godzilla head, too. I'm not too excited about it. It kind of looks like a Rottweiler uh, or something. Uh, the snout is a little too small for me. Uh, or he kind of also has that look of the, the gator from the, the Amazing Spider-Man. There's just something not very exciting about his face. As for the rest of the body, I like that. That's got the lumbering Godzilla for sure on that. So they kind of got some things going and some things not. But for a toy, he's kind of fun. So that's Tail Strike Godzilla. He's an okay toy. There's a few other Godzillas out there too. The one that I saw had a rotating uh, uh, upper section with kind of a punching arms thing going and he really looked uh, subject to his action feature at least this guy is kind of a little bit of both Godzilla both action feature and I do kind of like playing with this tail uh, the more I I'm more I'm batting around the more I I can see it doing some pretty fun things uh, if those feet were a little bit bigger I would give this guy high marks uh, but with the feet being so small I'm kind of uh, bummed about that but again, pretty neat toy, uh, a little bit of fun, a little better than some Bandai toys out there. Uh, I suggest getting them if you're into Godzilla and monster toys. That's pretty much what I'll say about that. Watch the planes, we'll control the skies. 